Greetings and salutations. This is Pandora the Eclectic, and I have had a very long day. Mostly because, as you know, being one of these people who just doesn't always keep in hindsight that the next day you're going to be going off and playing some Dungeons and Dragons. I did not I can make sure I had everything ready. Except yes, I did, but you get the idea. Okay. I believe before that my roommate had to make some comments of which I think she had to make them right some really obnoxious comments before I had to go to sleep, so that made my nap even more or even worse off. Huh? Hmm. So I can get some dark eyes under there. Anyways. As you see, uh, apparently I've had a few comments on my few other videos by a person with the name G O P R O S O L A. I'm not going to try and pronounce someone's name that makes no cotton picking goddamn sense. I mean, most people get my name wrong because they wouldn't know how to pronounce the word, know how to pronounce a word without having to research or look up the Bible without it. Because the retards. That's all. That's all it is. Anyways. I don't want to embitter this story too much, because actually, it was a relatively fun story, relatively fun time I've had at Dungeons and Dragons in a long time. Uh, we were playing, uh, we had to, I guess, somehow, we had gotten, our characters had gotten so completely drunk this time, that we, I guess, knocked over, or, Yes, we snuck into a high, honest night high priestess while she was showering, I guess, and, well, she had put it, us in some interesting jail cell, which, I guess we had our equipment, some invisible-esque thing where we couldn't reach it, reach it. and... It wasn't too bad. I mean, anyways, it wasn't. It was very difficult for the. Uh, I believe wasn't it the fighter, the fighter, or, no barbarian to reach it. So basically, what he does is he starts, you know, banging the walls, which makes a bunch of noise, and sends in like this little short man who I guess was in charge of. Uh, the Mormon man of some sort to, you know, check up on us, so which I rolled both twice a high, a very high roll for my, um, I believe, diplomacy check to get him to bring the high priestess or to free us, which the plan was to send us into, like, this dungeon of some sort to fight. Well, it may not fight, but, uh, where we encountered walls. Walls. But, to talk to us as, but, you know, not talk at us so much, like, talking, talking, you had to write in blood on it. It was so bizarre, basically. You had to use blood of some sort. I assume it's blood, but we don't really know. I guess we'll never know because, well, you know, we'll get to it. Man. As we go along, and, you know, I guess the wall allows us in or out into this uh, part of the dungeon where this is long bridge. And 
that I think I detected had some weird trap or some trap on it, a trip or some form of magic on it where I guess I didn't find out until I got to like the very middle of that bridge edge or I didn't see until the very until I saw like this knot of some sort that was kind of tied funny or something anyway I didn't notice until like you start hearing this clicking sound um, from the bridge I think yeah and then after I heard the clicking sound, all these ropes and all the stuff came. Trying to have all the little ropes swirling around me and, you know, about to take me down and almost kill me, I bet. <sighs> but, you know, we didn't know. So then, um. And I think it was, yeah. I think following that. There came, and after that, we you know did our best to try to get me off the bridge to safety and all that stuff. We started encountering things like these uh, skeleton warriors, you know, the, the kind that you can't just, that's, you, I guess you could either, you can't, the problem with these kinds of uh, warriors is you can't really kill them. You can't use a sword or something like that. You have to smash them and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah they're they're not a lot of fun to, to fight. Or if they are fun to fight, they're fun for like the barbarian or something like that. Yeah. <sighs> I stopped it and I think I'm gonna. I have to excuse me. I have to go get my tea. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Names again. Anyways, back to our story. I think it got down to like the. Oh yes. I think we saw like a woman that looked very much like the Grand High Priestess. At the end, summoning them and controlling the you know, skeleton warriors, but she was like towards the other end of where the bridge ended, or on the other ledge. And 
was chanting had a really odd chant of some sort. I didn't know. I don't know as much as I should because even though I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons for years, mm, I don't remember a whole lot. Anyways, I think I and everyone else had to do some quick thinking after fighting off the skeleton warriors. Basically, what I did was um, I found a lever which all I had to do was pull it and just sent us going like from at least five feet, I mean fifty feet to like a entire mile down out into <sighs> where I don't know what was going on in in this game, but it was just but anyway, it was like, it was like, this, like, like, like yeah. this area where it was down in the in cavern, something like that. And we found all sorts of stuff. Like, it was jewelry, a statue that, you know, I guess what it looked look like. You know, spat out rubies from its mouth. <laughs> And at the very top of that room, very, very, at this airish, well, I guess it's, it's fleetish, you know, like a little bit of stairs that led up to like a throne, which I think I detected or found out that didn't have any uh, dust, had some dust that was a bit disturbed. Which, you know, I already threw out this theory when, um, uh, I said it was a Grand High Priestess. Had, the thing is, she looks the lady. Yeah, so, my theory was, yeah, why would the Grand High Priestess be pissed at such a thing, like, that we destroyed a... <sighs> Destroyed um, destroyed. That, that's right. Um, sorry, I'm trying to remember everything. It was so it was a lot of fun, mind you, but it got to where I was laughing. Entire time, it was hilarious. But anyways, or how I was told, it was hilarious. Anyways, um, we were searching around. I did spot check. Well, search for traps or whatever it was, and try to make sure there was nothing going on down there. I guess I was a little bit suspicious about that throne, and it was kind of like, mm hmm. And of course, the lady that I was talking about. That looked like the Grand High Priestess, that just with black hair, um, and, and not all white or anything, or whatever, but just kind of like, okay, why would she do that? But why would she be doing that in the first place? I mean, I think the worst thing that we did was, yes, we broke in, while well, shower and all that stuff. I will admit, I took candles, but that's all we did. Like, the worst thing, really, all I could get in trouble for, we should get in trouble for, is just seeing her naked. I mean, yes, we interrupted her, you know, bee time, but... Dude, dude. I don't know what religion, I, I think she's so... Yeah, that's right. It was cord, yeah, she... I we would say goddess, I don't know. Goddess or god yeah, I think it's a god. And the religion of that said god tends to be that one of the very warlike behavior, so yeah. A god a warlike god kind of person, which doesn't shock or surprise me because 
lots of religions tend to be very warlike. And so, why not? Anyways. Now, why get upset at us for merely breaking a few? With those. Um, also, just. Anyways, I have to go along. The story is. Anyways, uh. Our barbarian, in all of his infinite wisdom, decides to uh, knock down all the pillars. Tries to knock down most of the pillars that were around the room. After sitting up on you know the ground, my attitude is I would have said I warned him about sitting up there because, frankly, any time something has been undisturbed or Hasn't been disturbed in a while, probably. Common sense of dictate, it's probably trapped, or has been messed with, if in some way, so... I wanna leave that the fuck alone, man. That's just a tip for anyone else. Let's see, use that. Um, let's see. Oh. I heard you this way. Before that, I think we were talking to a... Apparently, you know, the same thing I said about the wall and the painting of blood on the wall. Well, we were doing the same way with the floor, and, you know, this guy was pretty cool about, even though we kind of tried to destroy the temple, you know. I think, I think that's what he called it. The other place was a temple. You know, it's not a place of worship. Uh, might be large enough to do it, I guess. Anyways. While we were there, we just, you know, went about our time talking, messing around. Yeah. Trying to figure out how how to get out because, well, frankly, I don't think any of us want to stay there more than a few days. Yes. And. It got to the, you know, basically, I guess it kind of ends with us. Let's see. I think we all got pretty pissed at each other. Mostly because, mostly at the Barbarian for almost getting us all killed for destroying the temple. And thankfully, the, uh, the magical wall floor person that we were talking with decided he would be kind enough to let us go because you know, despite how stupid our barbarian is I guess, it, oh yeah, on on the fact that we decided to give him the barbarian over and it's why he's fighting and was killing each other yeah, we decided to give him a uh, Friend. Apparently, yes, the uh, wall guy doesn't have any friends. Yeah, a talking wall doesn't have friends. I wonder why that is. Anyways, after celebration and after we gave him that, uh, he let us go, and I think he magically transported us out, and, oh yeah, so we, I, I didn't quite mention this at the beginning of the game, apparently, I mentioned all these things about, like, and we were talking about McDonald's jokes and such, like, uh, I guess we had walked by a farm owned by old, Mac old, McDonald's. So, basically, I wonder if he makes, well, I made these jokes away. I wonder if he makes chicken and has chickens and, you know, pigs of which we can make these, uh, make nugget, a, a biscuit, make something with a biscuit and some strips of ham, cured ham, probably. And eggs from chicken. 
I mentioned something earlier with, uh, wonder if they have any, you know, chickens of which to make chicken nuggets. And I also mentioned, uh, you know, the, mentioned about Julian fries, but apparently the Japanese just didn't agree with that. That's about it. That's about how this really happened. You know, all pretty much ended well. With the exception of the barbarian, because, um, yeah, that's what you get for almost getting killed. I mean, I didn't do anything. I didn't try to kill him, because, in my opinion, yeah, he messed up. He almost got us killed, but, you know, it's really not something you're supposed to do. You, you shouldn't just turn on your player and start killing them. I mean, it's funny, but it's not really something you should be doing. Anyways, this is Pandora, the Eclectic, telling you I had a great amount of fun at Dungeons and Dragons. And keep it frosty, my friends.